as somebody who believes in Christianity to most of the extent, I'd say to some extent, at least in principle, I follow a lot of the tenets, and it's just because these are people that have lived way before me, so a lot more than I have seen in their lifetime, and in, in their lifetime, and decided, you know what, let's put a lot of this stuff down in writing, so that the people who come after us, who believe similarly to us, can benefit from our experience. Now, one of the biggest things that is wrong with many conservatives nowadays is that they just don't know how to mind their own business. It's and it's because these are the people who, who constantly say, you know, we just want to be left alone. They won't leave us alone. And I'm like, you can't you can't expect to be dependent upon the state, be completely reliant on the system of things, and then at the same time say you want to be left alone when you're literally in the midst. I mean, most of these people that are quote unquote conservatives are on places like Twitter, which is just a cesspool for drawing in conservatives into debating things that are just going to, it's just trolling. A lot of this stuff often is just trolling. And so you see the narrative of after the draft of the Supreme Court opinion on abortion was leaked, uh, fencing was put around the court because narrative, right? I mean, this is just all narrative, but it's for the purpose of distracting people. And it serves to distract many conservatives. And you have a lot of people on YouTube and it's their business, right? It's just drama. But yet, none of this stuff is what the Apostle Paul or Jesus himself have talked about that are things that you should be preoccupied with. But many individuals who claim to be right-wing conservatives often focus on these things. And it's for the purpose of stirring the pot. And the government knows it. This is the shit that's going to move the needle one way or the other. It's going to keep the normies distracted while they do other things that are of more importance. But, the, you know, the Will Smith slap, stuff like this. The whole food shortage narrative, uh, the whole Ukraine thing, and they got all these overturned vehicles, but there's no explosive uh, damage done. It was funny. I was looking at some of the some of the pictures from the quote unquote war in Ukraine, and they have all these overturned vehicles, but there's no damage to the surrounding infrastructures, like an overturned car right in front of a house that has absolutely no damage done to it. All the windows are intact, but you have all these overturned vehicles, and it's just like, bruh, and it's like. This is the stuff that just serves as a distraction for many people. And even if you think, like, for example, the defund the police, why would you care if they defund the police in some dipshit democratic state? Right. It, it's irrelevant because we know what the result is. The result is, is that people are going to lose their lives. And so why would you care if some dipshit normie lost his life for defunding the police? most of these people live in democratic neighborhoods if these people go in that direction good we don't need them we need less of them actually and so going out there and trying to preserve these people because we want to do the right thing is just stupid i mean even the art of war states that when you see your enemy making a mistake it says don't interrupt him but many conservatives have yet to learn from this very simple principle that's why i said in this little thread here it said Women, ha women who value killing their children should have the right not to breed children. It's a self-correcting problem. Why would you want people of that sort to raise kids and pass their delusions on to the next generation? And this is true. Why would, it, why would you want whatever, whatever delusion that these democratic communists believe? Why would you want them to pass their information, their teachings, their way of life on? To the next generation is a self-correcting problem just like the whole trans things the lgbtq stuff all that stuff is self-correcting because they breed that their ideology itself will breed them out of existence and so sure it might take a generation or two but you should be focusing on your infrastructure you should be focusing on building up your community and strengthening your community instead you have people especially within the right-wing community entirely focused on this stuff whether it's politicians or it's people in the media, people that you follow on YouTube, and it's all a distraction. That's why the Apostle Peter years ago said to focus on things that are for the purpose of building you up. Focus on the things that are well spoken of, he said. Not to focus on this stuff, because this stuff is unclean. Why would you even want such stuff in your mind? I mean, shoot, if some young woman wants to abort her kids, 
what does that have to do with me? That has to do with her and the way that she lives her life. And you know the outcome. You know the outcome is going to be poverty, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, loss of life. And if that's the outcome, so be it. So be it. Even Jesus himself, people didn't want to listen. He said, and if anyone will not welcome you or heed your words, since shake the dust off your feet when you leave that home. The Apostle Paul felt the same way when he had spent some time going back and forth with the religious leaders of his day. He said, you know what? My hands are free of your blood. I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to have conversations with these individuals over here who are more likely to want to heed the wisdom spoken of by those who came before us. That's why I look at a lot of this stuff and I'm like, that's a self-correcting problem. That's a self-correcting problem. That's a self-correcting problem. Shoot, defund the police is a self-correcting problem. Who cares if a whole bunch of people vote for defund the police and they end up dead? What concern of that is mine? And, I, and that's why I've often said, if that's the case, if they want to defund the police, fantastic. Go ahead and do that. Take those police that they want to defund, welcome them into your state and put them around your state so that they can monitor those coming back and forth within the state so we can keep those individuals out of the area but people are more concerned with being distracted than with actually making any sort of headwind any sort of progress they sit here and they're like elon musk is for freedom and i'm like you don't get to be that rich in this world and not be con completely controlled even jesus had the same experience in his own life when he was shown all the kingdoms of the world and the devil said i'll give you all this if you just do one act and that's always a scenario these people do not come into the positions that they have by chance the world that we live in is completely controlled by these individuals and overwhelmingly like the scripture says the whole world lies in the power of the wicked one and many of these individuals serve his purpose i mean just look at the stuff that they vote for they're immor morally bankrupt as the Apostle Paul went on to say, that these are people whose conscience is seared as with a branding iron, like they do with animals, with cattle, right? The skin becomes the skin becomes dead, just like a conscience. And that's why a lot of these people vote for the stuff that they do, because morally they're dead. They're dead inside. And so, like the Apostle Paul said, and like Jesus said, what does light have to do with darkness? What do the righteous have to do with unrighteousness? If they want to vote for pro-abortion if they want to go out there and kill their young this isn't new they did the same thing in the time of molech and they offered up their sons uh, to the fire to the false god molech and if they want to go that route that's up to them the end result will be the destruction of their nation inevitably so if that's the route that they want to go say have at it anyway i'm going to leave it there thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time